What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Long time no see. I know I haven't really made a whole bunch of videos lately, but um, last night I went ahead and installed Betaflight 4.3. Basically with default settings, I think. Um, I brought over some of my modes and stuff, but other than that, it's for the most part on default settings. Um, so we're going to see how that goes. Um, I did have a little issue last night when I was doing this. Apparently I flashed the wrong um software originally and it couldn't read my gyro and i'm like what the hell what's going on and i sat there for about three hours to five in the morning till finally i found a video that said hey if you have don't have a gyro this is probably why you probably flashed the wrong firmware so i went and i checked and i looked and i looked on my default my dump file and i saw where it said the board and it said something about smt32 something blah 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 i don't remember and i'm like Okay, that's the one I flat. But then I looked down a little lower. It said board name, Xylo F4, and I'm like, ah, maybe that's maybe there's a Xylo F4 firmware. So I looked. There was a Xylo F4. So I flashed the Xylo F4 firmware, and my gyro return, and everything starts coming back to normal. So, um, I got it all set up. I got it on here, and I'm sitting in the car right now. But we're gonna go out here to the park and give it a whirl and see how she does. Here we go. All right, I've heard all this hype about 4.3 and how smooth and great it is. So um, we're going to see how she runs. But as you can see, we did get a little bit of snow here. We had actually three inches, but it's all mostly melted away now. But um, I don't know. We're going to start off in the field, do some little test flying, and then um, we'll head over to the playground and rip it up a little bit. Here we go. All right, for starters, something's definitely not right. Props are all going the right way. Hmm, let's try that again. Well, this might be a bummed out trip. It seems to be very sensitive. Like I'm barely touching the throttle and the sticks and it's going a little wonky. Um, just send it, see what happens. Very odd. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I'm getting it up and it's wanting to, it's kind of doing all kinds of weird stuff. The only thing I can think to do is take it home and um, hook it up to beta flight and see if, see what's, what's going on. Something weird is definitely happening. It's like it wants to go up, but every little movement does weird stuff. I don't know what's going on. I think I know what it is. I think my rates and my curve is like super, super, super sensitive. And I'm not used to that. I was running my rates at like 600 degrees. So um, I'm gonna see what I can do. Definitely something weird going on with the rates. We're going to have to get that home and take a look at it. I'm not sure. I did look at my rates when I after I installed everything, and they looked like they were like 667, like near where I usually have them. So, I don't know. It like, it's very jittery, very sensitive. I'm going to try it again. Why not? If I really, really baby it, I can get some flight out of it. But it's so damn sensitive. Way more sensitive than what I'm used to. Um, so we're going to head home, hook it up to beta flight, see what's up. So stay tuned. All right, I think we got it figured out. I hope we got it figured out. I did bring it back, hook it, hooked it up to beta flight. I'm at my house now getting ready to pull out. 
And um, apparently my rates are set at like 1200 degrees, which is double what I usually run. So I dropped them back down, threw some RC curve, put a little curve on it, and um, hopefully it'll be better. I mean, honestly, even with 1200, um, it seemed a little jittery to me, but um, we dropped it back down and hopefully it's better now. I guess we'll see. So we're gonna take it to the park and find out. Um, uh, lucky for you, all I gotta do is snap my fingers. And we're here. We're at the park. All right, um, let's go try this out. Hopefully this helps out a little bit. I also, I should mention, I had it on actual rates. I moved that, I changed that to beta flight rates. So, um, I'm hoping that did the trick. So let's find out. Here we go. <laughs> Put another pack on and see how that goes. and cool i'll have to say now that everything is set up right that feels really good very smooth buttery smooth in the air like no vibrations whatsoever um i feel like i need to adjust my i don't know how to I, i'm i don't fiddle with the beta flight too much but i need more juice more oomph from my throttle and i think i can do that in the throttle curve somehow that seems a little on the low end side like like it's limited so I need to boost that up somehow just to give me a, a little bit more push. But oh my god, it feels great. Betaflight 4.3 is pretty nice. Just make sure you get your rates where you're comfortable because 1200 degrees is not comfortable for me without any curve at all. I'm going to put one more pack on there. And um, I think 4.3 is a success. I've also got some really raggedy props on here. And it's handling them very nice. So All right, we'll put one more pack on and um, then we'll call it. So far, so good.
All right, well, that is going to wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen. I think Beta Flight 4.3 is just as amazing as they say it is. Once I got the little kinks figured out with my rates, um, buttery smooth. I couldn't ask for better. Flight times do see, seem to be a little bit better. I'll have to adjust my, my throttle a little bit, but um, it's not bad. I mean, it's okay. I've got it on the Beta Flight rates i didn't touch anything didn't change anything it's at like 667 degrees or something like that yeah um that's a success i'm happy with it i highly recommend watching joshua bardwell's video it's titled something like if you can't wait for 4.3 or something like that um i don't know uh check it out but anyways guys thanks for watching hit the like button subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video cap is out peace